And now Chief Meteorologist Don Slater is here with another check of the weather. That video out west, wow. It continues. Wow. Yeah. And they talked about that too, about how the fire draws in gases. You know what kind of gas is drawing in? Air, oxygen, that's the only gas that's drawing on in. Uh, as the air, it's like a chimney, but as uh, the chimney causes the air to rise, it's, it, it draws in more air from your house and goes on up the chimney to fuel that fire. And that's the same thing that happens. Well, they can create very, very strong winds uh, across the mountainous areas, the forested areas, on off into the Pacific Northwest, especially in valleys. It could uh, tend to concentrate into river valleys. Here's what's going on in terms of rainfall for our part of the world. There's some lightning and thunder out there, but all of this is not very, very big. It was kind of big for a while. Around the four o'clock hour, we did have a severe thunderstorm warning, a few of them, uh, right through here from Surrey and Sussex and the Isle of Wight County, even into Newport News. Uh, but again, all of those have been canceled. There is still a watching effect for our part of the world, but it's not real, real likely. If you've had some of this heavy rain from the south side and southward into extreme northeast North Carolina, right along the state line, chances of you getting severe weather are much, much uh, reduced uh, because of the effect that the air is cooled by this rain, uh, so there's less chance you're going to see rising air. Here's what's going on in eastern North Carolina. Yeah, there's some thunder and lightning going on in Moyoc uh, and even in the southern, Ches uh, southern Virginia Beach and southern Chesapeake, too. But it's nothing real, real big. Lightning is always dangerous, but again, nothing real, real big. This is bigger, certainly, in the western Gates County and the northern Hertford County toward the Murfreesboro area, and that will be bearing on down on the on the uh, Hosky area here pretty soon. And the intensity rate is around an inch and a half uh, per hour, but it's unlikely that it's going to rain much beyond about 45 minutes, 40, 45 minutes. So yeah, you could see some heavier rainfall, certainly into a Husky any minute at 730, basically. On toward Hertford at 811, Windsor, all the way southward into Windsor, that's out of our area. Uh, 834 toward the uh, Edenton area, uh, Plymouth and Creswell, some of these areas on the other side of the Apple Mile Sound. These areas are not nearly as big going on uh, through the future into the evening hours, but that's what's going on. Here's over the past three hours, so we're taking it back to four o'clock, and again, some of this action was really quite strong for a time, uh, and this is starting to sharpen up a little bit. We'll want to watch that one toward the Ahosky area. That could get a little bit stronger as it approaches Ahosky, so we'll watch that very, very carefully. Uh, so join us at the end of the newscast for that. Here's where things are in our in our part of the world. Again, we've got little fronts that are dropping on down. Storms on from now on into the middle of the evening. Here's a one version of our future track computer model. It's got some of that rainfall, but it's got an ending uh, coming up by about 11 o'clock uh, in the evening and then into tomorrow morning everything is very very quiet here's the longer range version it's got the heavier stuff farther east where it is really really right on into here but that's pretty good uh, it's not bad really uh, it continues some of that rainfall into nine o'clock uh, ten o'clock and then by 11 o'clock it's wiping it on out and moving it on out uh, through the region so for the next couple of hours yeah we could see some thunderstorms going on in the eastern North Carolina Carolina, uh, but basically dropping on southward out of Virginia and gone in Virginia, quite likely. Here's where things are by 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Quiet day tomorrow. High temperatures right at 89 degrees. Here's what we are for Wednesday. A little bit better chance at seeing, once again, some afternoon showers and thunderstorms uh, into the area. So, again, we got these showers and thunderstorms in the northeast North Carolina for right now. They're not looking huge. The stuff toward a house game, a little bit uh, watching that real, real carefully, uh, and we'll have an update for you at the end of the newscast. Uh, but otherwise, a slight chance of rain tomorrow, better chance of rain Wednesday. Temperatures each afternoon in the upper 80s and low 90s.